Hello. Oh, I just moved that. Good morning and welcome to Barely News. I'm so excited. Barely at 10 o'clock. It's nowhere near 10 o'clock. Today is a, is a serious one for you. Why so serious? Jordan Banjo recently went for vasectomy. Vasectomy is not something I normally talk about here on the Berlin News. But if you're thinking about having a vasectomy because maybe you've got too many cubs. Yes! Then um, you're probably wondering what happens afterwards. <coughs> How long is it before you can... <coughs> So this is what happened when I went with Jordan Banjo to get his vasectomy uh, because he's one of my G's and I went to school with him. Oh, it's Jordan now. He doesn't look good. You okay? Yep. He didn't cut off your peen, did he? No. Are you sure? Yep, positive, yep. Was it painful? The, the pain's not the problem. The problem is where you're so scared you have a nipple instead of a penis. Oh no, your peen turned into a nipple? That happened to my mate once. Oh, he was peeing milk for weeks and then eventually it dropped off and his normal willy grew back. So you should be fine. So yes, the peen can turn into a nipple, but don't worry, it does revert and go back to normal. So you stop peeing milk. Milkshake and start peeing piss. Another way you can sort the problem out is to not go for a vasectomy and just have it sealed. Here's Craig Phillips from Big Brother to tell us how we can go about doing that. Standard size tube, 290 millilitres, and then you've got the larger one, 380. It's longer and it also has a thicker nozzle. But on the subject of peens and willies and such, here's Katy Perry eating balls on American Idol. Oh, wait um, a minute. Oh, 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 Okay. And that's how you eat balls. And this is what Susanna Reid wore on Good Morning Britain. It was barely news. Goodbye. Ah!